Today we're going to make a bench out of reclaimed wood and steel beams. A few years ago I salvaged a bunch of these pine beams out of an old brick building in Boston's seaport area. After using a metal detector to find any screws or nails that were stuck in the wood, we resawed them on a bandsaw. This was the first sizable woodworking project that I did here at the Autodesk Build Space. They actually have a really nice wood shop in addition to all the cool robots, laser cutters, and 3D printers. Each of these beams weighs about 150 pounds, so it was nice having my buddy Christian Dunbar here to help. A large bandsaw with a resawing blade is great for cutting slabs to the approximate desired thickness, but it leaves the surfaces a little bit wavy. I use the jointer to flatten out one of the surfaces, which will be my reference plane for the rest of the milling process. Once I had the first surface nice and flat, I was able to flip the beam over and get a second surface that is perpendicular to the first. For some of the larger and heavier slabs, it's a little bit challenging keeping it flat to the fence. With the nice flat reference surface facing down, we then ran the slabs through the planer over and over again until they were nice and flat and clean on both sides. We used the table saw to trim up the fourth side of the slabs. A quick trim cut with a compound miter saw revealed some really nice end grain. When you have one of a kind slabs like this, it can be hard to commit to making a piece of furniture with them. So I wanted a leg system that would be sturdy, but allow me to change my mind later and repurpose the slab for something else. I drilled some two inch diameter holes about a quarter of an inch deep to the underside of the slab. I inserted two inch diameter magnets that had steel cases on them and then screwed them until they were flush with the underside surface of the slab. I used my orbital sander to sand the entire slab with a 220 grit pad. Even though this wood is pine, it's very old growth pine, so the edges were actually pretty sharp. So I just used a little bit of sandpaper to ease the edges slightly without taking away from the nice square aesthetic. I'm not an expert on wood finishes, but recently I watched a really informative YouTube video from The Wood Whisperer. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. And that's where I got the idea for how to finish this slab. I applied three coats of Minwax Wipe on Poly with a satin finish. I had to do a little bit of light sanding in between the coats. I'm really happy with this finish. It brought out the color of the wood without making it look too glossy or plastic. I went to the steel yard and asked them if they had any short cut off pieces of wide flange beams that were too short to be used for construction. I was in luck and was able to have them cut me some one foot long sections of W12 by 26 and W14 by 22. I used my angle grinder with a 40 grit flap disc to remove the cut lines that were left from the metal cutting bandsaw. I used an orbital sander with 80 grit pads to remove the majority of the rust and mill scale off of the sides of the I-beams. At this point the steel is quite vulnerable to rust and corrosion so I quickly covered them with some WD-40 while I got everything ready to, to put a final finish on them. I used mineral spirits to thoroughly clean the steel right before it was ready to apply a finish. I used rags to apply a thick coat of Minwax paste wax which I let sit for 15 minutes before using a clean rag to remove all the excess. This provides a nice clean matte finish. The magnet system worked really well with the 12 by 26 inch beams. These beams are 6 inches wide and even when I really tried to rock around and move it, the slab didn't budge. The 14 by 22 beams aren't as wide on the flanges, so for these ones I drilled holes that I countersunk so that I could put screws through the steel and into the wood. Simple, chunky, durable furniture like this is one of my favorite things to make. I also like that I could take these pieces and rearrange them and make other things that have different applications. Aesthetically, this is one of my favorite projects, but I know not everyone has access to giant slabs of wood like this. The steel bases, however, though, were relatively inexpensive for how durable and cool they are, 
and it didn't take that much work to get them polished up and ready to use. I will put links to places where you can buy slabs of wood online. And I also suggest experimenting with gluing together 2x4s or sheets of plywood or a whole bunch of scrap wood to make your own slabs. For more detailed instructions, check out my website. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I normally post live clips of what I'm working on in the Instagram stories. Check out some of my other videos, include this recent project that I did where I made a bench out of a just one 2x12. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.